Hey everyone, TechDimage here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPhone on the latest iOS version in 2024. And you can use this method on any iPhone on the latest version. This will reset everything and set it back to factory settings. Now let's get started. Now before you even consider doing that, what I recommend is if you want a copy of your data, like your photos, videos, apps, and everything, make sure you transfer over to the new phone before doing this because this cannot be undone. If you don't have the new phone, you can always back it up to your iCloud or in your computer. If you do an iCloud backup, simply go into your settings, click on your Apple ID account, click on iCloud, and then do an iCloud backup and you click on backup now, it'll back up all of your data to your iCloud account so that you have that accessible when you um, add your account to the new phone. Now, once you're ready to go, all you need to do is go into your settings like this and then just go to general, then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and then click on erase all content and setting the second option and this tells us that it's going to erase the iphone which is basically a factory reset it's going to remove all of our downloaded apps photos videos anything we had any of our information it'll also remove our apple id account also remove our uh, activation lock and eSIM as well here as you can see all of these will be removed so i'll hit continue now you have the option to either keep the eSIM that's already on the phone if you're going to set it up again, if you're thinking of restoring it on this device or deleting the eSIM. So whatever you like, uh, doesn't matter. Either of these options will delete all of your data. But if you want to delete the eSIM, meaning you're getting a, a new phone or you transferred that eSIM already over, you can delete it or keep it. I'm just keeping it because I'm, I want to keep my eSIM on this phone, but you don't have to if you already transferred it over to another phone. We're going to skip this. And then finally, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password in order to uh, remove your account. So you're going to have to enter your Apple ID password, which I'm going to do now. Once you enter your Apple ID password, just simply click on turn off here. And then as you can see, I have to do a second time here. That's fine. I'll click on turn off one more time or a few times until you can get this Apple logo to appear. And this has started the process of the factory reset we're going to want to wait and make sure this goes through all the way to the hello screen which will show you what a successful factory reset looks like during this process you also want to make sure your phone has enough charge i recommend at least 50 percent or more charge if not just connect it to a charger because you don't want the phone to die or completely turn off during this process because it will not complete and you'll have to redo the steps again so a successful reset will show you in a second and this is in real time just to show you how long it takes it should take about a, a minute or two sometimes a little bit longer depending on how much data you had on your phone so if you have tons of photos videos apps it'll take you a little bit longer but in most cases within five to ten minutes you should be able to complete this process so i did not have much on this phone so it should uh, be very quick so we're going to wait to see the hello screen to show you again what a successful factory reset looks like in the meantime all this is completing if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do consider it for tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices as we're showing on this one so let's hope this finishes anytime now and it looks like it's stuck but don't worry it's just doing its thing sometimes it'll seem like it's stuck and sometimes it'll just finish like this and this is the hello screen we were talking about once you get to this hello screen you swipe up and you can see it's asking us to set up things like language country right that means all of our data has been factory reset on this iphone this factory reset has been successful and we're good to go so that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.